Hi everyone, uh, people are always wondering what's happening in the market. Are my home, my home values going up or down? So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. Interest rates, if you've been watching, now we're seeing seven and a half percent interest rates overall. Uh, prime's higher than that. So when you're looking at these things, it is going to affect values at some point. It's not yet because of inventory. It is slowing the market down some. We're in a seasonality of kids getting ready to go back to school. So things are a little bit slower. That's a typical seasonal trend that we did see back in 2019 that we have not seen in a while. So uh, I'm going to give you statistics for end of July uh, or through the through July period and give you a good overview. We're seeing prices up slightly in Hartford County. We're seeing average price at selling is 384 versus last year at 359. So that's showing up 7%. But you have to look at really when you dive deeper into the numbers, the, uh, the price of what's selling is actually a higher priced home that's selling too. So it skews numbers a little bit. Prices are definitely up and values are up. I wouldn't say it's a total of 7%, but we're seeing that as a market average. Uh, list to sell ratio is actually up a little bit over last year. We're seeing 101.8% because the inventory is so limited. That's part of it. People already have those golden handcuffs in the 3% and less rates, so they have to be motivated to move. Uh, new inventory coming to the market. Last year was 415. This year, 266, so down 36%. Again, the supply and demand with low supply causes prices still to incline. And then new pending sales, so that's down roughly 25%. Last year was 358. This year we're seeing it at 270. So again, that's we're gonna see sales down approximately 35%. Homes sold this for uh, July was down 16.5%. So uh, in Hartford County in general, we're seeing about the same thing in Baltimore County. And then Cecil County was only about 8% down. But overall, Hartford County sales were down a little bit over 16% but new pending sales are down 25. So just know as we're seeing the seasonality come into play and the higher interest rates coming, um, you know, if we see 8% interest rates, which I think is coming from everything that I'm hearing from uh, the experts in it. So we'll see where things go. Baltimore County, we are seeing, you know, 16% less in sales, almost identical to Baltimore County, I mean, to Hartford County. So we had 725 sales there. Days on markets, pretty much, you know, just barely double digits. So 11 Seven days and 15 days, we're not seeing much of a difference. Uh, average price in the county is up 5%, 5.2. So again, what's selling 342. And then list to sell ratio is higher in Baltimore County, it was 102.3. So both of these were higher than last year in August. But last year, the first half of the year was really busy and the second half slowed down. This year we're seeing, you know, we're seeing typical seasonality where January, February, March starts getting busier, April, May, June, very busy, and then July, August. August slows down a little bit because of high vacation time and then kids going back to school. It will pick back up a little bit in September, but again, we'll see what happened with these interest rates. So Cecil County, uh, sales were down about 8%. We had 111 homes sold, again, uh, 17 days on the market, so not a lot. So as long as your prices is, is a price well, your home's price well, but you are in a beauty contest. So a lot of people think, oh, I can just put my house on the market and it's gonna sell. We're seeing homes that uh, have not, they either haven't been taken care of, they haven't spent time updating, they are, they're using um, discounted brokers and so forth that are not doing professional things of, hey, let's get a stager in here, let's help prep the house, let's do photography in a professional manner, let's make sure you're presented in the best efforts. Um, when you're not doing those things, it is affecting and you're sitting on the market for a while because we're seeing a lot of stale inventory out there, we're starting to see expired listings. Even though the average time in Baltimore, Hartford, Cecil and surrounding areas is only only between 11 and 17 days of the ones that are selling, but there's still ones that aren't. So make sure you know that you're still in a beauty contest and a pricing war. The good thing is pricing, if you're doing the extra things, you're getting a lot more for them. We're seeing still homes selling well over list price in segments of the market. So for more advice on what you should be doing, give us a call at the office. We're happy to go through it, but make sure you're prepping the home. This is so important. Don't just think, hey, I'm gonna put my house on the market and it's gonna sell. Yes, it will sell. There's investors that will come in and we'll buy cash offers. We buy homes. Uh, we, we do instant offers. So all these type things. But you're going to take a little bit of a haircut. If you want, that's convenience. If you want to get top dollar, then let's prepare the house. Let's take a little bit of time. A lot of 
clients we're dealing with, we're talking to them for a few months ahead of time. I have ones that we've spoken to for years that it's finally the time. It's when is right for you. This is a needs-based market. So if you don't need to move, you're not. But if you do need to move, you're gonna, you're gonna get a great value for your home, but you're gonna deal with the market because less inventory, which means you're gonna pay a little bit more still for properties. Properties are still ascending here. Certain segments of the market in the country have had small decreases, but there is no sky falling. We want to let you know that there's still, even though rates are high, homes are selling for top dollar. You just have to make sure your home shows really well. It's really important when you walk through a house, think of it if you're the buyer. You know, would you walk through and if you see things falling apart or you see a home that needs to be painted, paint and carpet are some of the cheapest things that you can do to get the most return. So for more answers on questions of that sort, give us a call, 410-638-9555. I hope all's well and enjoy the rest of the summer.